Welcome to the SPY Collection. I'm Anastasios and this will be a short video for a concealment device for the Ajax-12 SPY camera, also known as F21, one of the most widely known KGB SPY cameras from the Cold War era. I have a separate video for the camera itself, so I will not talk a lot about it in this video. First of all, here is the camera I used in that video and here is the one I'm going to be talking about today. The only major difference is that this one has a small attachment to its shutter release button. Apart from that, they are the same, only with a different serial number. Worth noting that KMZ, the factory that was making those cameras for the KGB, was typically using the first two digits of the serial number to describe the year they were manufactured. This means that this one was likely from 1971 and this one with a concealment device was likely from 1970. The extension of the shutter release is a likely improvised device hold together with a screw as you can see over here and its intention is to extend the shutter release button by a centimeter or so. Now the concealment device is this English Russian dictionary. This concealment device inspired a whole generation of similar devices in KGB and they were all given the same name. Kniga. Kniga is a Russian for book. For example, here is a quote from the book The Secret History of KGB Spy Cameras about this concealment device. The Kniga was a successful camouflage system for use in surveillance photography inside universities and coffee shops. The large cavity inside the book provided ample space to conceal the Ajax 12 camera. Inside, this book has been modified to fit an IX-12 spy camera perfectly and on its back side it has a decorative button which is there to allow the lens to see through it. To better understand the perfect fit let me put that camera in there and show you that. Now check this out. As you see, the camera fits very tightly into this concealment device and when closed there is nothing that gives away that this hides a spy camera. You might be wondering, but how does the operator take photos using this? And here is where that extended shutter release button comes to play since it rests tightly to the book's spine. Those spy cameras had a winding mechanism, which meant that you didn't have to manually wind the camera after each shot. You only had to point the camera to the target, press the spine of the book at the right place, and there you go. Let me try this one more time. And this was the KGB Kniga, an improvised book concealment device for the Ajax-12 spy camera. Concealment devices are practical applications of the motto of this channel. And that was a nice representative example that nothing is as it seems.